Let's begin by plotting the three vertices of this triangle on the Cartesian plane. One of the vertices is the origin, 0, 0. Second vertex is at the point 2, 0. And the third vertex is at the point 1, root 3. Now let's denote the three vertices of this triangle by A, B and C respectively. Let's denote by theta the angle made by the line AB with the positive direction of the x-axis and let's denote by phi the angle made by the line AC with the positive direction of the x-axis. So the gradient of line AB is equal to root 3 minus 0 divided by 1 minus 0 which is equal to root 3. Now this is equal to tan theta and therefore theta is equal to pi upon 3. Similarly, the gradient of line AC is equal to root 3 minus 0 divided by 1 minus 2 which is equal to minus root 3. Now this is equal to minus of tan pi upon 3 which can be written as tan of pi minus pi upon 3 or tan 2 pi upon 3. And this is equal to tan phi, the gradient of line AC. Therefore, the angle phi is equal to 2 pi upon 3. Therefore, going back to triangle ABC, the angle B is equal to pi upon 3. And since angle phi is equal to 2 pi upon 3, therefore angle C of triangle ABC is equal to pi minus 2 pi upon 3, which is equal to pi upon 3. Now since the sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to pi, therefore angle A of triangle ABC is equal to pi minus the sum of the other two angles, which simplifies to pi upon 3. Therefore to summarize, angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C, all of them being equal to pi upon 3, and therefore this triangle ABC is equilateral. Now we know that in an equilateral triangle, the in-center and the centroid coincide. Therefore the coordinates of the in-center or the centroid are the sum of the abscissa divided by 3, which is 1 plus 0 plus 2 divided by 3, and the sum of the ordinate divided by 3, which is root 3 plus 0 plus 0 divided by 3. This simplifies to 1, 1 upon root 3, which is the required answer.